Hey guys and welcome to the Hackenons YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about meta classes in Python. A meta class in Python is a class of a class that defines basically how a class will behave. A class is itself an instance of a meta class, which means classes have the execution of their behavior based on the device and input given by the user. So basically, to create a simple class in Python, what we do is we use a class keyword and then we define its init method, that is its initialization method, and then we simply create methods. But we can do this using another form that is using the type keyword and the type casting allow us to create the same class. So let me show you how to do that. So when I scroll down on my screen, you can see this line of code that says my class of type hackenons and within that there's just one tuple and one dictionary so let me pull down this line of code a bit higher the type casting and creation of this class which spells as my class and the up which is called as my class used by the class keyword is absolutely the same only this is just another sanitized method of creating it so let me comment it for the timing and this is another method of creating class using the type function. So basically what we are doing is the name of the class is hackinons and inside this tuple we can put the names of other classes from which we want to inherit the current class which in this case we are not going to do and then inside the curly braces that is the dictionary we can put in attributes related to the class. So now that we have understood how to create this class, let me just comment this line of code. And now let's see another simple example. So basically what we have done is we have created a math class using the type keyword and the name of the class is math and it does not inherit from any function or classes. And inside the dictionary, we have given the attributes that is the start date of the math class is June 2005 and the instructor is Keith. So it's as simple as that. Now let's try to simply print the my class. And if I run this program, it obviously says my class is not defined because we obviously commented it on top. So let me just change this to math class, math shift class. And now if I run it, as you can see on the output window, it says class main of the name math. So basically it has created a class using the same method using the type keyword that we used. Now let's print its attribute. So first thing let me try printing the start date start underscore date runs perfectly and it says June 2005. Till now everything works fine. So again let me just comment this line of print statement. And now what I'm doing is scrolling down to certain more lines of code. And what is this? Again this is another class of college and I've created using the type keyword and the name of the class is college. And now it basically inherits properties from the math class and we are inheriting it. And then after inheriting in the dictionary, we are updating the values of the start date to August 1990 and the instructor to John Doe. So now let's try printing the attributes of the college. So I'll say print college dot start underscore date. And if I run this, it now shows as August 1990 because we are simply referring to the class of the name college. As simple as that. So basically what happened is we used the type keyword and we created instances of a class and then we I'll change its attributes and its functioning methods. So basically these objects can be called as meta classes. Whenever we call a class to create a class, there is a meta class that's doing the magic behind the creation of the class. Well, this is just a simple method of understanding how we can perform meta classes operations. So that's it from this quick video. We understood the basics and working of a meta class. If you want to implement them, you can use them in applications such as blogging, registration, creation of profiles, etc. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel.
for more fun and interesting videos.